make the announcement that we come to the medical center and speaking on behalf of the board that we are going to uh, build a facility at Fairfield Bay. Our plans are that groundbreaking will take place no later than July the 1st. And in that facility, we are planning on having uh, physician offices. We're planning on having a laboratory, a clinical laboratory, uh, durable medical equipment uh, area office to where folks out there can have convenient access to durable medical equipment, um, digital mammography, and a number of, uh, of other things, uh, a sleep study being one of those, Dr. White. So we are, we, we come to the medical center, are just really, really excited about this and looking forward to it and, and, and want to get out there. This is something that we have discussed for a period of time. And as you probably know, we've had property out there now for some, five, what, four or five years or something, and waiting for the opportunity in, in, the, in the appropriate time that we can go out there and do this uh, in, in partnership with, with, with Fairfield. And uh, we even have plans. Uh, we, we have drawn up some plans with regard to that office building out there. Uh, this has been done uh, some point in time ago, and we have uh, evaluated those plans and are doing that just now. Our CEO, Dr. Wagner, is discussing uh, opportunities with uh, with a number of construction folks as to see who we might uh, contract with in order to build this building for us. So all of that is underway, all of that is in place, and, and uh, I truly am excited about this and looking forward to it and having this facility out at, at Fairfield. And uh, with that, I would... Uh, if Fairfield would like to respond to that. We do. Uh, the excitement is shared. Not only are you people excited, but Fairfield Lane is excited. We are happy and proud that you've selected our community to expand into. Um, we're looking forward to being partners with you, and I would hesitate to say we're looking to bring you a, a large number of clientele. You know, so that, that probably shouldn't be printed. <laughs> of the new facility? The location will be adjacent to the facility that we, our wellness facility that we have at Fairfield at this present time. If you're looking at that facility, the, uh, the uh, wellness complex out there, uh, it will be just to the left of that building. Do you have an anticipated opening date? Opening date, no, uh, that'd be, uh, that'd be looking at it future a little bit more than, than we can do, but we certainly are hopeful to uh, start groundbreak by July 1, and uh, Dr. Wagner's been talking with some construction folks. You might have a better answer than that. Well, Dr. first of all, it depends on the weather. I mean, we don't know what next winter's going to bring, but you know that handicaps any building project up here. Uh, from what we have been told, once we get going, 12 to 18 months, because this is not a small structure. Uh, and uh, again, that's contingent on the, uh, on the winter. Dr. Wagner, you say it's not a small structure. Do you have a budget or an, an idea of what 
amount of money will be spent. We are we're still evaluating that. We will have to wait wait on the architect and uh, th those folks to get back with us. We have, we're looking at firms. Uh, Tom Hassler and, and our engineer myself, and uh, that'll go to the board and be approved. Then go to your all's board and. Uh, the plans that we had were for 19,000 square feet. The additions that we think we need to augment our services at, uh, to the Fairfield Glade folks will increase that substantially. But an a, a accurate number at this time, I don't, don't have a number for. Still a lot to hand around. Yes. It'll go, what, what is the partnership with Fairfield Glade? You say it would go to their board, the, the numbers? They have to approve it. Bob, you want to answer that? We have a um, committee. Well, we have a number of committees. It seems when you get a lot of old people together, they form a committee. <laughs> <laughs> the, um, two of the major committees would be the Long Range Planning Committee, which does all sorts of long range planning like this. And even more importantly, we have an ACC Architectural Control Committee mm -hmm. um, that would be involved in this. They would be looking at the plan. Um, and to be quite honest, um, I'm sure from what we've seen so far, everything looks presentable. Um, but we would like to pass everything by these committees so they have the opportunity to at least be aware of what's going on and have the uh, ability to make a comment on, uh, on uh, directions in certain areas. The, the actual street address, if you're interested in that, would be on the corner of Stonehenge Drive and Village Drive. Village Drive. It goes between yes, Stonehenge and Catoosa. Yeah. That's right. So it'll be on that corner. Yeah, I think the front, the plans I saw would put the front entrance on Village Drive, and the side would be, as you're looking at the front, the right side would be on Stonehenge Drive. Would you like to have some drawings, any kind of those in the puzzle? Those, those drawings are probably will not be uh, used. Uh, those were a template that we had drawn up, uh, we had them redone three or four times, and, and but there's going to be some changes in that, and the entrance may need to be changed depending on the mechanical, structural, uh, engineers, and the architects. If, if it's anything like our building project, it's probably changed 10 of 100. <laughs> <laughs> we have been, we have uh, stressed that we want to know where, where we're going, what we're going to end up with, with a one price uh, minimal change for us. Yeah, that makes sense. Tom's well aware of that, and uh, he's done a great job uh, selecting these companies we're looking at, and we'll present to our board and then to you all. We're really looking forward to this. Uh, Dr. Wagner, in our, con in our discussion, you and I, you talked about the building, the structure would be a two-story structure. Well, we don't know yet. The, the, the concern is we have 3.071 acres, uh, and uh, it depends on the parking. Right now we have a, is it 100, 103 parking areas in the old plant. That's probably adequate, but it depends on the new expansion on how much parking we will need. We do not want to put ourselves short on park. I guess the question in my mind, um, whether it's a, a single story or double story building, was is it in your plan or in your thought to include the heliport here? That depends again on the on the amount of space. With the space that we have out there, unless we block off parking and, and be in the DR dock, you don't want to park your car next to it. <laughs> we would have to do that somewhere else. I think that's an excellent idea, and that would come in the, the uh, uh, certainly we can consider it up front, but based on our, the way, the lay of the land there, there's not enough room to adequately land a copter there and, 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 and uh, take people. Well, I just wondered about a rooftop landing, something like that. Does it need to go to that? That, when, when you do that, you get into the Federal Aviation Codes and dealt with that a little bit at the trauma center, that's a very complex issue, and I can tell you that no, it will not be on top of that building. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, we've had um, helicopter services there, and we've had some of them leave, as you're probably well aware of, left the county and those sorts of things. And so
so we have a lot of residents that that's a, a real consideration in their mind. They're concerned about them coming from such long distance, the time frames and those sorts of things. So I just wondered if that was a part of your plan. Well, keep, keep in mind, though, although we are uh, talking about a walk-in, this is not a true emergency center. We will not be taking care of acute medicine there. That, that needs to go to an ER. To do a, what we call a hot load, where you go from the ER to the copter here, is 15 minutes from the, the, the Sparta helicopter. It's probably the same or near the same out there. And if you can have a central access place, it really doesn't matter as long as it's in that general area where it would be. We have different landing zones around our property. Uh -huh. And uh, when the need arises, those are the, those roads are blocked and so forth so that the copters can get in. And I do think it, it would be prudent to look at putting one to serve that, that area. Uh, but uh, it, it, it's not practical nor financially feasible. Uh, what specialties do you plan to have out there? That's a good question, and the, the uh, run of the bill answer is we don't know yet. Uh, <laughs> I hope primary care, orthopedic availability, cardiology availability, neurology availability, and general walk in medicine for people who get stone mobiles, God forbid, or minor their ankles, the transient people that visit you all every year. We hope to, to accommodate their, their needs too. And also, we're, we already have a number of corporate offices that have met, and so have I, with the Good Samaritan folks about servicing uh, that population. We're excited about that. You're currently doing therapy at the Wellness Center in a That's, a, that's an excellent question. Long term, we will move our mammography to the big to the new structure, and it will be digital screening mammography, uh, just like is done in most of the, the uh, academic centers. You have outpatient screening, diagnostic at another area. I hope to expand the physical medicine department there to accommodate the increased need. Good Samaritan and all the other, uh, to complement the other things we're doing out there. Uh, we, we could use the expansion already. We just do not have the area for mammography. Good Samaritan had talked about, or were inter they were interested in the fact that your, the wellness center had this uh, therapy care capability, especially with the pool that's there. Right. Because there's a lot of those that take place in the pool. And so I know they're interested in Absolutely. And we want to uh, serve them and, and provide that service for them. Uh, we need to increase our, our capacity out there, though. And that will be possible when we get this up. Doctor, so many uh, medical procedures today require social services to go with them. Uh, are you planning on having any, um, any of your staff that provide social services out of that location? You know, that's, we haven't gotten that far. In the, in the discussion, there will be extra offices, not physician offices, to supplement, complement uh, the, the building out there as we anticipated in our mind's eye. And, uh, but that's certainly a, a thought, and uh, because you're exactly right.